Hmm. Let's see what's here. Wait. I hear something. Eve, look up! I think you could come down here. Break here.
We have to open the valve to supply water. That's it. That's our key. Isn't enough water. Hold on. You have to dive down to open a different valve.
You'll need a key here, too. Found the key. by going back to where you started. Alpha Nativa territory. What's a drop pod doing there? It was abandoned a long time ago. Matter of fact, it's what made this crater. Wait, that's a fifth airborne squad drop pod. Let's take a closer look. Picking up a distress signal coming from that drop pod. That means... There might still be survivors. Really? I can't say for sure, and the Alpha Nativa could appear at any moment. So let's make sure we're well prepared. what's here wait I hear something Eve, look up
My goodness. I can't believe this. This is the Alpha Nativa. You can tell by looking at its core. An Alpha core? If she were... Eve. Hmm? Uh, there's something you need to know. The truth is... Hello? Here! Can somebody rescue me? Please? Are you in voice? In the pod. If you're there, please help. Ah! What the? Uh. A survivor from the airborne squad. Oh. Were you the one who sent the rescue signal? Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, it was me. You're a member of the 7th Airborne Squad, right? Yes. And you? Right. Let me introduce myself. I'm an engineering support of the 5th Airborne Squad, Lily Artemis II. But you can just call me Lily. <laughs> So just to recap, you were in that hideout waiting for another squad to arrive for almost two years? And then you met us. Yes, thank you so much for saving me. I've been waiting a long time for the next squad to come in. It's been really lonely here. It's really lucky we were able to find you when we did. Eve, you're from the Airborne Squad Assault Force, right? Yes. Then I can be your engineering support. Of course, I will need proper equipment first. Equipment? Hmm. Well, I did want to say something earlier. What is it? Actually, there's a city where other survivors, besides me, live. What? Really? It's called Zion, humanity's last city. If we go there, there might be people that can help us. I have a safe house with some equipment I bet you would want. Then let's head there quickly! Before that, I would like to ask you something. Currently, Zion is holding out under the guidance of Oracle, who is also our spiritual leader. It's complicated. Eve, I imagine completing your mission isn't any easier having lost your comrades. So, please, Help me save Zion. If you do, I promise Oracle and I will do everything we can to help you on your mission. It's about joining forces and helping each other, just like we did before. Sound good? Yes. Thanks to teamwork, I was able to get the Alpha Core. Maybe we can get more information in the city, Eve. Think about it. Yes. I suppose there's no reason to say no. However, I want to decide after hearing the story from that person you're calling Orkel. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I can definitely get behind that idea. Well, I guess that settles that. All right then, let's head to Zion. Yes! to see a city in a place like this. 
During its prime, over 100,000 people called it home. Obviously, now there are fewer. The place you see below is my safe house. The auxiliary engine's output is weak, so things can get bumpy. Hold on tight. city underneath the wasteland. It's amazing. Even in the darkest times, it's always safe to bet on human survival instinct. So, where do we go? No time for breaks. Typical leave. Are all those walls around the city supposed to protect it from their Tiba attacks? The walls don't seem to be as reinforced as well as they should be. Most likely, there will be a protocol to rescue everyone. It'll be a big project. But the only way it'll be possible to contact the colony will be to finish the mission. I hope that day comes soon. of us we have a situation here a situation you'll see when you get to the presence chamber Come on, we're almost there. Hey, Rael. It's been a while. Looks like you brought guests. Very important guests. Can you open the door? Go. Oracle is waiting for you. See you soon, Rael. Good luck. Got a keen eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother Sphere. Over here. Oh. 
I see we have guests. Welcome. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad Member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Nativa. Will you show me anything it might have dropped? Here. Oh, it's an Alpha Core. Please, a moment. Your objective is to rid the world of the Elder Natiba, the leader of all other Natibas. Well then, I suppose you're trying to use the Alpha Core as a key to open the way forward to the Nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, the Nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the nest? By fusing four Alpha Cores together, you create something called a Master Core. Only with the Master Core will you be able to reach the very deepest corner of the nest. How... how do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Nativa. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell. This way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Eve, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here. deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Eve, please help us. Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being, I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells, if the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Ma, outsiders, thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. And my personal link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Nativa now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the Cradle. Who... who are you? Oh, this here is Man, a Sentinel Commander, 
He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. My skills are still limited, shall we say. So I am not yet able to reach new areas. However, with the power of more hydrocells, I'm certain I can track the location of the Alpha Nativa. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Altus Lavoir, a place out in the wasteland, a ruin of the past. Can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Eve, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes. We have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared. Oh, I feel better now that we're outside. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. Yeah, that scary looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Ava, can I ask you for a favor? I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the tetrapod. the angel. Don't bother me. Mind your own business. Zion before. Identify yourself. Wait. I'm an airborne squad member from the colony. Huh. So you're an angel. What brings you here? Looking for a tour? I was curious about the song coming from inside. I heard the prophet gave you permission to enter the city, but that doesn't mean you can go around as you please. Of course, those who've lived in the comfort of the colony don't know anything. I don't mean any harm. I apologize if I've caused you trouble. And you, you okay? Huh. There was a time when this bar used to be full of people. Now it's just so empty, empty and dark. And Enya, same story. I wonder how long she can keep singing with her body in the state it's in. Huh. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. It's pointless. I'm trying to be sensitive, but if you need help, we might be able to fix her. After all, we do have engineering support from the Airborne Squad. What? Is that so? But I... I have no way to repay you. No, I don't need anything. I don't need any kind of incentive to save someone. All right. In that case, could you help me? I 
Hey. What? Yeah. I guess you're not gonna help. No, ignore me. Sue, I have a question about Anya's condition. What? Shouldn't Zion's engineers be able to do something to help her? They can't. I heard they're lacking in just about everything they need. Technology, funds, basic resources. Attempting anything is only gonna make things harder for them. Okay. I'll relay this to our engineer right away. Ah! Angel! I, I can't believe the Angel is here. Are you the owner of the shop? Th that's right. At least for now. Adam sent me to pick up the new propulsion control board he ordered. I'm here. Is it ready? Hmm, uh-huh. It's ready. I even have a spare one, too. <laughs> Good to know. Let's see. How much is that going to cost? Oh, no, no, no. You, you can just take this. I, uh, heard you come to help us. Of course, I'll do what I can to help you as well. Really? Then I'll accept it. Thank you. In return, is there something else I can maybe help you with? Huh? Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's just that you look like you had something weighing on your mind. Did I now? Oh, I guess I can't hide anything from you, Angel. Do you want to give me the full story? All right. One day, I was out working in the scrap plains of the wasteland. When I ran into some Nativas, I had to ditch my bike and my trunk during the escape. The bike got caught between hunks of metal. I had to leave it behind, or I wouldn't have made it out alive. A bike? Can you give me the exact location? I do have to go out to the wasteland. I'll go ahead and find out. Thank you very much! Oh! Eve! Come take a look! Come! Huh. A drone? Stretch your arm out in front of you. drone is different. Yes, this is no longer the drone you knew. It's an all-new, upgraded Drone 2.0 that can launch long-range projectiles. No, this is more than just an upgrade. It's an evolution! <laughs> now try hitting the target. Amazing, Lily. Colony Tech at your service. What do you think? <laughs> Damn kid, tinkering with my drone. It'll be very useful for the mission. Thanks, Lily. Great. Let me know if you ever run out of ammunition. brought back what you asked for. Here. Great work, Eve. How was your walk around the city? It looked a little sad. So much empty space. Anyway, let's go to the wasteland, Adam. Well, there are still some issues with the Tetrapod steering system. So I'm afraid we're not able to leave just yet. Then when will you be ready? 
Unfortunately, it's going to take longer than a day. Then I'll go ahead on foot. You can use the drone to guide me. What? The wasteland is a lot bigger than you think. I can't just sit here and wait. In fact, I want to see the wasteland with my own eyes. <laughs> You're one of a kind, Eve. All right, I'll guide you with the drone. Eve! Please be careful! Yes, thank you. The wasteland is that way. Eve! Eve! There's something I didn't tell you. Lily, I have to ask you something. I found someone who's been injured very badly. She's too weak to speak, and there's no chance of her moving. The technology here won't do. Do you think you might be able to help somehow? Well, yes. But do you really think this is a good time? The people here, they have negative feelings towards the colony. Many of them think they were abandoned. I want them to see that our mission isn't just for the sake of appearances. Our mission is to save mankind. Ah, yep, typical Eve. <laughs> I can give it a try, but I can't guarantee a complete recovery. Also, there's a lot I'll need to prepare. I understand. Just tell me what you need. I'll send over the list. And please try not to spend too much time on this. After all, we still have a mission to complete. I know. Thank you. You must be the angel. Sorry, but can you spare a moment? What's going on? I normally wouldn't get a stranger involved in Sentinel's business, but I'm worried about my comrades and I can't afford to send a search party. What happened? As you know, Natibas are unpredictable creatures. Finding a new variant is not even a big deal, as long as we can handle it. This particular new variant recently appeared in the Wasteland, so we've been keeping an eye on it. But one of my scout teams has not returned to Zion yet. A new variant, you say? Yes, a formidable monster. Its entire neck and shoulders had evolved into a weapon. I'll send you the coordinates. There's an abandoned oil storage facility in a remote corner of the wasteland. The scout team was guarding the area. So, you want me to find those sentinels? Yes. Thank you. The lone and level sands stretch far away. This is the largest land I've ever seen in my life. And yet danger lurks around every corner. Watch your step. If you trip, you might find yourself caught in the arms of death. All right. I've entered the scant coordinates of Altus Lavoir. Let's go. Camp 
doesn't have power. Oh? Let's see. Um, it looks like a good amount of the camp's energy is being supplied by nearby areas. I think there's an issue with the supply network. What can we do about it? <sighs> this is gonna be tricky. Outside of Zion, there's a solar tower that supports energy links to nearby facilities. It seems like there might be a problem with the tower. <sighs> We're going to have to go and check. I can just dash along the wall. Wow, great moves. Almost as good as mine. It must be the drone, not you. Following the path, and you'll see Altus the floor. What on earth are you doing here? Ah, it was you, Angel. Phew. I'm here on the Prophet's orders to inspect the plant and other facilities. 
I was about to head back, but I saw all these monsters. I barely managed to hide here. You already saved my life, but can I ask you a favor? Did you see a sentinel on your way here? No. You're the only person I saw. The thing is, a sentinel accompanied me here as a bodyguard. He shoved me in here to protect me from a Natiba before running off to fight it. I can't just leave without him. Wait here. I'll look around. Thank you so much, Angel. His name is Go. If he's alive, he should be around here somewhere. I can see the entrance to Altus Labor. Are we going to need a security code? No, but getting ourselves inside might prove to be a bit of a challenge. Huh? You'll find out. Halt, outsider. Huh? Who are you? I'm Royal Guard Quiel. I'm under direct orders from Oracle to protect the ruins. Do you know this is a restricted area? Wait, wait, but we are here to do a favor for Oracle? Even so, I can't let anyone in who isn't qualified. Qualified? 
If you manage to defeat me, I'll let you pass. Well, if that's the case... Very good. I underestimated your ability to fight on equal footing with the Alpha Natiba. It was an honor to spar with you. We can enter now, right? Yes. Altes Lavoir has been contaminated by Natibas for a long time. No one has ever made it back alive. However, with you, I have hope. Blade stopped working all of a sudden. <laughs> the drone scan isn't working either. Hold on. This is bad. There's an unusual electromagnetic security field disrupting the system. There should be natives around here. Ah, equipping the drone is still possible. Same goes for shooting at range. <laughs> I guess we should thank Lily for that. That's more than enough. Entering now.
outside, the ruins looked old. But inside, it looks so modern. Something about this feels off to me. The time period doesn't seem to line up at all. I feel the same. Filled with capsules. Was it a research facility?
Let's open. Let's open the gates. Maybe the pattern under your feet is a hint. Great, let's move to the next area. Protecting a fusion cell in that generator. Let's get it out of there.
door on the other side's open. The laser is on. Let's go down. Subjects are alive.
success. towards defeating them. But this place seems more like a manufacturing facility to me. Not a single scratch. should work now. There's contamination here as well. There should be a weakness.
contamination is advancing here. It's closed. We have to look for a security code. somewhere nearby. Try entering the code. Supply camp is here as well. Ah, let's take a breath anyway. The Natibas here. They look almost human. These Natibas are definitely different from the ones on the surface. A lot of them aren't even on our list of Natibas. Elder, you're keeping something from us. What is it? 